welcome to another exciting edition of Name That Term Railroad Edition. I'm your host, Nick Nicholson. Before we get started, let's review the rules. We'll cover several railroad and miniature world building terms through a series of questions. And each question answered correctly earns a point. But be careful, every question answered incorrectly loses a point. It's that simple. Let's meet our contestants. Here we have Dino. Dino from Reno, Nevada. Dino from Reno. Tell us about yourself there, Dino. Well, Nick, currently I'm a longshoreman, which is a bit challenging in Reno, but it's a good life. Love that dry humor, Dino. And here from Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, we have Phyllis. Tell us about yourself, Phyllis. I'm a groundhog groomer, but I prefer the term stylist. And I love orange and trains. Me too. Love that energy, Phyllis. Let's get started. First question. Locomotives are a powerful machine used to pull trains. What is another term for locomotive? <laughs> Phyllis. Engine. Right you are. Moving on. When someone talks about a railroad's equipment, what do they mean? <laughs> Dino. It's all the locomotives and freight cars and passenger cars that a railroad owns. Correct, correct, and correct. Point to Dino. Next question. In railroad parlance, what is a livery? <laughs> Dino from Reno with the it's fast a, hands. It's a place where horses are kept. No, I'm sorry, not on the railroad. <laughs> Phyllis? Oh, I'm sorry, I got so excited. It's the paint scheme of a locomotive or a railroad car. Correct. <laughs> Next question. What exactly is a coupler? <laughs> Dino. Chuck Woolery from Love Connection, he makes new couples every time. Uh oh, not the connection we're looking for there, Dino. Sorry. Phyllis, would you like to try to steal? I sure would, Chuck. Um, a coupler is a mechanism used to connect cars on a train. It's what enables it to be so long. I used to love counting train cars when I was little. It's way better than sheep. I'll bet they were, Phyllis. <laughs> and right you are. Moving on. Next question is multiple choice. Which of these phrases describes a wheel set? Is it A, the brake wheel found at the back of a freight car to slow the train down, B, the paired wheels on axles that ride the rails, or is it C, a spare wheel kept Ooh. under the locomotive in case of a flat? <laughs> Phyllis. That's easy, Chuck. It's the paired wheels under a locomotive or freight car that ride the rails. That is correct, and just a gentle reminder to you and our viewers at home, my name is Nick, not Chuck. <laughs> Moving on. Not to be confused with their rubber-tired counterparts, what guide a locomotives or rail cars steel wheels along the rails? <laughs> Dino. Is it trucks? It is trucks. Well done. The trucks hold the wheels in place, which helps a great deal with everything operating as expected. OK. Open-ended question this time. What does era refer to when modeling a railroad? <laughs> Dino. It's the general time period that a model railroad could be set in. Judges. They say that's correct. The era of the model denotes the time period the model is set in from the early 1900s steam era all the way through today. Good answer, Dino. Another multiple choice question. And if you could please refrain from hitting the buzzers until I complete the question there, Phyllis. Sorry, I just get so excited, Chuck. Might want to switch to decaf. When operating a model train or enjoying an operating session, what activity are you doing? Is it A, controlling a train as it travels along the track? B, giving others instruction on their jobs to fulfill? C, watching with glee as the miniature world comes to life? Or is it D, all of the above? Dino. Controlling trains and acting like an engineer, it's gotta be A for me. I'm sure it is, but unfortunately, Dino, not the answer we're looking for. Phyllis with the steel. I would say all of the above. Who wouldn't love watching their miniature world come to life? That all sounds amazing. Who oh, indeed. And all the points to you, Phyllis. All right, next question. If you're a railroad engineer, and you get the signal for highball, what should you do? <laughs> Dino. Definitely, I'd say no thanks. I'm driving. How responsible of you there, Dino. But unfortunately, not the answer we're looking for. <laughs> Phyllis with a chance to steal. Well, if I was an engineer and I got the highball signal, that means all clear. So I would be moving my train out full steam ahead. Choo-choo. 
And all of the points to fill is correct. All right, things are heating up. Next question. In terms of railroad track, what does gauge mean? Uh, Phyllis. Is it a device used to measure how long your track is? No. Uh, Dino. Is it the width between the rails? It is. And just so you know, the standard gauge for railroad track in North America is four feet, eight and a half inches. Uh, All right, this next term is a very important one to model railroaders. What is the size ratio or proportion between a model and the object that it represents? Uh, Phyllis. Scale. Correct. Also used to describe newspaper or magazine pages, blank is another word for a miniature model railroad you operate trains on. Uh, Dino. Spread. No, I'm sorry, but the spread might be growing between yours and Phyllis's scores. <laughs> Phyllis with the steel. Layout. That is correct, and also my favorite thing to do at the beach. <laughs> what does the term structure mean on a model railroad layout? Uh, Phyllis. Well, Chuck, structure usually means all the buildings, locations, and cool set pieces that a model railroader -er would put on their layout. I mean, wouldn't you just love to get Tiny mail from a tiny man out of one of those little tiny mailboxes? Sounds like Phyllis needs a pen pal, fellas. You're on a roll there, Phyllis. Correct. Next question. If you're driving your car and you're stopped at an intersection to wait for a train to cross the road, what is that intersection called? Uh, Phyllis. The reason I'm late for work. Is that your official answer? That's officially why I was late for work yesterday. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry to hear that, Phyllis. Although, we should all know that a grade crossing is there for everyone's safety. <laughs> Dino, would you like to try to steal? I sure would, Chuck. Is it grade crossing? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Moving on. If a model railroader talks about their favorite road, what are they referring to? Uh, Phyllis. Well, I believe the term you're looking for is railroad, Chuck. Road is just a shortened term. Very good answer, Phyllis. Well done. Next question. What is a road number? Dino. Easy. Highway 1. I'm sorry, Dino. Not the answer we're looking for. Remember, the name of the game is... Name that term. Railroad Edition. Phyllis, for the steal. I know it. It's the identification number painted on the side of a piece of railroad equipment. Almost like she memorized the script, huh, folks? <laughs> All right, next question is about sports. Not terribly confident with you two. A team's roster is the players that take the field. What does a railroad's roster refer to? Is it A, the group of routes a railroad serves, B, the engineers and conductors who operate the railroad, or C, locomotives, passenger cars, and freight equipment owned by the railroad? Ooh, fast hands. Judges, who got in first? Me. Me. Dino, by a hair. Yeah, the answer is B. It's got to be B. Engineers and conductors. Not even close. Yeah. Phyllis, no other way. steal. You're not, kidding me. Not even close. Phyllis, please. Please steal. Please steal. Let's see. All of the equipment a railroad owns. <sighs> Locomotives, passenger cars, freight cars. Phyllis knows her equipment. That is correct. All right. We have another multiple choice question for you. So watch those hands. What is a railroad's rolling stock? Is it A, the railroad's financial history, B, cars that carry cattle, pigs, and poultry, or C, any car that makes up a train regardless of type? Uh, Phyllis. That's easy. It's the history of a railroad's stock performance. Gotta love the confidence, but unfortunately, incorrect. Dino with a chance to steal. It's C, any car in the train. Hey! Hey, Dino Ferrino with the big steal here. Point to Dino. In railroad terms, what does a consist consist of? Uh, Dino. What is the specific set of cars that make up a train? Dino, remember, I'm the one asking the questions around here. This isn't Jeopardy after all. <laughs> but the points are still yours. Correct. All right, you two. How you doing? Staying on track? <laughs> little railroad humor. <laughs> Very little. Where would you find some cross bucks? Uh, Phyllis. At the mall. 
It has a drive through so I get my coffee there every morning. It's so convenient. No, 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 Phyllis, no, that's it. Yeah. We're talking about not coffee. Shop. Angry deer. I'm sorry? Angry deer. I hit a buck the other day with my boy. He was mad. He was cross. Angry deer. It's deer. It's a deer. Buck is a deer. A deer. No, buck. Deer. A deer is a buck. buck You're both deer. wrong. No, you buck. are both angry very, like Dino. very wrong. A cross buck is a sign in the road that looks like an X to warn motorists of a railroad crossing. Where do we get these people? All right, contestants, time is running short. We've got time for another multiple choice question. What is a rail fan? Is it A, a device that lets you keep cool while walking downstairs? Is it B, a fan of progressive rock superstars Grand Funk Railroad? Or is it C, someone who enjoys watching real trains and often photographs them? <laughs> Phyllis. It's gotta be B, gotta love the funk. Locomotion. <laughs> Indeed, but I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Dino. It's got to be A, the stair fan. I saw one of those advertised right after the late movie, and man, that spiral move looks like something. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dino. The answer is C, someone who enjoys watching and photographing trains. That sound, of course, means it's time for our lightning round, but we only have time left for one question. So this question will be worth 10 points. Dino, looking at the score, if you get this right, you get the win. Think. Think hard, Dino. Phyllis. Bill the engineer tells Ted the fireman, we're clear to take the train into the yard. What is the yard? Dino. The yard is where old trains go when their time is up. Uh, You're going out to the yard. Dino, we were pulling for you. I'm sorry. I know this. I know this. I know this. I know this. I know. I know this. I know this. Let's hear it, Phyllis. Is where railroad cars are sorted and stored. Phyllis wins. Yes. Ten points. Phyllis. Phyllis wins this edition of Name That Term Railroad Edition. What a train wreck. Good night. How can I go back to Reno now? Airfare provided by TWA. Contestants of Name That Term Railroad Edition enjoy accommodations at the luxurious Green Valley Motel. Interested in model trains but don't know where to find them? Surf on over to walthers.com where you can find all of your miniature world needs. From tracks and trains to trees and trucks, everything you need for your model railroad can be found at Walthers.